Hello YouTube. This video is coming straight to you from the Mac Pro. I uh, have done a couple upgrades to it and I figured it would be better to just uh, show it here from the desktop. So if you go to about this Mac you can see we're running OS 10 version 10.9.5 so running Mavericks on it now. We've got 8 gigs of RAM as usual but as you can see we are now running Intel quad-core Xeon CPUs instead of just two dual-core CPUs. Now, they are a little bit lower clocked than the original dual cores. They were they ran at 2.66 and these are running at 2.33. But the reason for that is that these CPUs have a TDP that is very, very close to those of the dual core CPUs. So, therefore, I leave myself some thermal headroom as well as, uh, you know, more power efficiency overall. I mean, the workloads that I would put on this machine would be multi-threaded anyway, so in that regard this should be more than fine. The CPUs that I bought are the E43 or E5345s. Let's just see if we can uh, dig those up on eBay in the Safari here. Intel Xeon E5345. As you can see here they are extremely cheap. Here these are from the US, it's a matched pair, of course you will need two for your Mac Pro. And uh you're like fourteen bucks, fifteen bucks, including shipping to Europe, you're at about uh, twenty-five bucks or so. So that's pretty good, that's a pretty good deal. And uh that's what I got for these, so um, I installed them and they seem to work fine. I also added in another graphics card of course because the stock G4 7300 7300 is not supported at all anywhere beyond uh, Mountain Lion. You can use Legacy Kicks there for the video, but not beyond Mountain Lion. So Mavericks and El Capitan and Yosemite really need a better graphics card. You'll get away with something like a very cheap uh, 8800 GT secondhand for like 10 bucks, 15 bucks or so. But I decided to go with a GT 610, a new card, just so I can have some reliability. It's an MSI card, very nice heat sinks. It's of course passive and works very well with this Mac Pro. So that's that. As you can see everything is running very nicely. The only problem I had with installing Mavericks on here is that I had to do it from Lion and then use uh, ML Post Vector. I had some problems with the Yosemite installer so I figured I would have to split it up in two partitions. In the end I didn't really need to do that but you know, I did it anyway. So this is the that 60 gig uh, OCZ agility drive that I've put in here, and uh, it's running very well. It's very fast, and I've moved the applications over to a, a separate partition here that uh, had Lion on it. So all the apps are going on the apps partition there. So everything is fine in the Mac Pro world. And it's uh, really running like a champ. One thing that I uh, was really surprised about is that iMessage actually works. It's not supposed to work, but it actually does, so that's good. Now, if you take a look here at the system information, we can see that we're no longer running a Mac Pro 1.1, but a uh, 2.1, which is, of course, related to the 2007 model, which came with quad-core CPUs. I had to do that in order to get the uh, CPUs to be properly recognized and in order to use all the RAM risers, because for some reason, if you don't update the firmware, it will only detect one CPU sometimes and only one uh, RAM riser in total, so I would only have 4 gigs. But this seems to be working fine now. So, Full 8 cores, 2 logical and physical CPUs. Well, logical, of course, got uh, 8 CPUs physically in cores and 2 physical CPUs. But, uh, yeah. Anyway. Here's the 610, it's running at x8 because I had it uh, paired up with the 7300 for a while and didn't really, haven't really bothered yet to uh, set these settings back to where they belong. Of course, I got our DVD burner that's still working fine. This machine does not have airport, unfortunately. I might add that later, but it doesn't even have the antennas, so I'd have to order the full set uh, with airport antennas included. So I might just go with a USB dongle for the time if I ever need Wi Fi. It's not all that difficult. I have one that's supported, so so that should be fine. Okay, so um, last thing I want to show. I'll open up a couple applications uh, soon. 
but uh, the temperatures are very much very very nice in here of course the RAM is extremely hot because it's fully buffered dim stuff and they run terribly hot but it doesn't really matter uh, I've got full fan control over the system if I wanted to hard drives are nice and cool CPUs are running at about 60 degrees C right now while being properly pushed by this uh, recording software so I guess that's not too bad but uh, yeah I can now run a hell of a lot newer software than I would otherwise be able to if it were still stuck online the GT610 works fine online by the way if you were uh, if you were wondering about that but uh, yeah I can do my word processing <laughs> it's a bit overkill to have an 8 core Mac Pro for that uh, I can do video processing in Final Cut and of course do all of my messaging, email and stuff. I play some Strong Old Kingdoms on here just for fun. There we go, there's Final Cut. I'm uh, going to be migrating from uh, from Adobe Premiere to Final Cut as much as possible because of the uh, render times and the editing performance overall. So that should be cool as well. But uh, yeah, so as you can see the Mac Pro is running like a champ and uh, these upgrades really were worth it and it didn't cost me a lot either so I mean I already had the RAM and the SSD was 20 bucks and CPUs were 20 bucks and the video card was 30 bucks so and the overall system itself was only 100 to begin with so in the end I didn't really have to spend a heck of a lot to get this machine up to this uh, level of performance so really nice to have and I will upgrade it to uh, Yosemite at some point, but for now I'll be running Mavericks happily because everything seems to be working correctly now. So, I hope you enjoyed this video. I thank you all for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. And uh, don't forget to drop a like and a comment if you have one.